sorry that I haven't posted the video in a while because my main PC died uh, around two months ago. So the motherboard was completely fried. And since then I had no way of editing my videos. And since I'm using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, 4K, which needs a lot of <laughs> power to, to edit, I was unable to do anything about it. So uh, in the last two months I've been saving up for a decent PC. And I was also thinking how to make a good video about it. So I embarked on a most dangerous journey in my life. And that's, that was the idea of giving my girlfriend to build my PC. Uh, I ordered the parts, I chose the parts, but she is going to build it and she doesn't know it yet. So just to give you a quick backstory about her, she is a law school student. She has absolutely no technical knowledge whatsoever. And her fine motor skills are, let's just call them motor skills, missing the word fine. But um, actually the idea how to make this video I got from Linus Tech Tips from Linus Media Group. I thought it was an amazing idea, I watched uh, his videos for quite some time now. I love them and this was something I wanted to do. I don't want to copy his idea, but I just enjoyed the, the concept of it so much. So it's going to be probably similar. I'm also going to put down the uh, link in the comments below of the video I used for a reference. And let's see how this goes. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm supposed to build a PC today apparently. We'll see. My boyfriend bought a new PC and he was brave enough to let me assemble it. Mm -hmm. I don't see this. I just thought it's a good video idea. Let's open everything up. Okay, intentionally I did not unpack anything to see oh. if she will okay. recognize the components. It, 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 it's open enough. After five minutes of disruption. Let's see if I recognize it. Oh. Ryzen 7. Oh, processor. Yeah, okay, one down. Uh, Vengeance RGB Pro. Come on, read a bit more. Read a bit more. It's literally there. Um, memory. Okay. We'll get to that. Okay, it's memory. It's memory. Believe me, it's memory. Will this survive? <laughs> I hope yes. I really, really hope yes. Horse air again, fine. Come on, read it. It says on the box. Performance ATX power supply. What? It looks like a fan. Oh, you just read Let's it. Come on. It literally, you just read it. Fine. It's power supply. Come on. Motherboard. Okay. okay, I know that one. I watched one video, how to assemble a PC. Should be enough. Of course. Now you know everything. And like Legos, I should put everything on this one. Okay, that that generally it's a good idea to think of it like that. I'm still wondering what this is, though. Come on, read it. It's in the box. Okay, try assemble everything else and and see what you you're left with. Samsung. One terabyte, so I would say some kind of storage disk. Yeah, 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 good okay. one. Storage. Another fan? Okay, no. It's a cooler. I think he bought one fan too much. No, one is a power supply, second one is a cooler. Oh no, this is a power supply. Finally. Oh, so this is a fan? Okay, and this is a power supply. Great. Well, technically cooler, but yeah, let's call it fan, whatever. Nano grease. Panel. I need a case? Yeah, okay, this is something which you... Maybe the, something... Okay, fine. If you never built a PC, you're probably not familiar with the, with the thermal paste. Let's open the motherboard. I know I need this one. There's also a big box to put it in. I will open that one. It's called a case. Computer case. <laughs> it's not a box. But okay. You really want me touching this? Usually I would say no, 
But in this instance, hey, I, I need to make a good video, so I don't like. Oh, instruction. Definitely use that one. <laughs> use it a lot. <laughs> we are going old school here, so most of the help will be from the manuals. Oh, is it stickers? Yeah, stickers. Most important part of the build. And a keychain, of course. I think it's like a warrant or something. It literally states quick start guide. Okay, what's with the obsession of it warranties? Oh, quick start guide. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you should still use the, the big, big manual. You should have taken the long version because with, with the quick start guide, it's you should have some kind of uh, experience before. Okay, now I'm really stressed out, so here goes 10 years of my life from the window. Please just don't break the motherboard and don't break the CPU, and we'll be fine. Careful and careful. This one came with this one, right? Okay, that's that's the, the Wi-Fi antenna. Really, leave it alone. <laughs> Why are you so focused on the antenna? Install CPU. Let's start. Install CPU, but you still took that. Okay, so so the pictures are quite nice here. So so. Oh, this is the page. Okay, yeah, so the, the... But where is the... <laughs> what is this? Where is the piece that goes on it? Oh, I need the CPU. Yes, yes, we, we have that. That is the processor, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that piece that you need is a CPU. Something processing something. Yeah. Really, my first time doing that. I, I, I think everybody can agree with this one. We all believe you. Okay, so th this is the part where I'm really stressed out because she is butchering the box and there's so many tiny, tiny pins below the, the CPU. Please don't bend oh. them because. Wait, this entire box just for this? Yeah, because when you like give five hundred euros, you ex and some paper. You should get something bigger than this, so they probably just be put be put it in a big box just for that. Install installation instructions. Why do I need another installation instructions? Technically, you don't, but every manufacturer with every part of the hardware will supply you one. My, my best advice I can give you, use the motherboard one, because everything goes on it, so... Okay, am I facing the motherboard correctly? Okay, this is not IKEA, it really doesn't matter, you just need to align it by the triangle, so... Yes, it is. It's just a sticker. You really yeah, don't need it. <laughs> oh, there's a triangle. Too. Yes, yes, yes. We are getting somewhere. Now just align it properly and we'll be right. Leave the paste for later. Paste goes. No, no, no. Pa the, the paste goes after we. The yes, Dwayne Rock Johnson. CPU. After you place the Fine. CPU. 
I'm guessing this little triangle has to go in this little triangle. Yeah, okay, that, that's true, that's correct. Okay, now... I think I'm not facing the mother character. I'm really scared. Thank God. It in fine. I'm literally shaking right now. Like this, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't have too much confidence in this part. <laughs> yeah, you you have to put it behind the notch. I'm not sure. Nice. I'm really proud it's of you in. actually here. Fine. Okay. Listening to so me. This was the sensitive part. Babbling oh about no, PC parts so long. That way, so I'm not facing the motherboard correctly. That's it really does not matter. Oh. After so many years of listening to me babbling about PC parts. The fan. She cut on to something. <laughs> Why can't it just say fan? Or it says cooler. CPU fan. Are you the CPU fan? No, this is the power supply. Okay, what, what is left then? This is one terabyte. I don't know what this one is, but it doesn't look like a fan. Okay, it's memory. Come on. I'm left with this. Okay, now this is going to be a fun one. I Are just hope that she doesn't drop anything on the motherboard. Placed so neatly in the middle of the table. I did not know. I did it's just there for super booting because if I fuck something up, I can move out of the house. I did not know if you're going it's to a great receive idea, one. Honey. Yeah, okay, I'm rethinking that one if it's a great idea or not. We'll see in a few hours. This part of the pen. You're gonna need to screw something? Yes, that's why you probably got a screwdriver. Just don't drop something, please. There's so many okay, small bendy pins. I mean, I, I, honestly, this is starting to feel like an IKEA unboxing. Okay, that that I get that one. <laughs> Dear customer, too late for that. Uh, I don't know. It was metal. It's fine. Is there something that you didn't drop yet? Now I have serious doubts. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where, where, where are the instructions? Let's see. Oh, these are, these are the smart ones. Install CPU fan. Fine. My pictures okay. are here. Use the manual from the from oh, the no, CPU. Uh, well. <laughs> no, I'm lost also. Just use the manual for the, the fan, the CPU cooler fan. It will explain to you in much more details. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to shake a little bit right now because I don't think there's a single piece that hasn't fallen yet. And the motherboard is still in the middle of okay. this whole mess. I completely agree with you. I'm also scared. Okay, here she, she's taking the wrong manual. She's taking the manual for LGA socket. Which I understand why, because how would somebody who is not in the further away from me who doesn't understand the lingo, like what what would she know? What does the LGA mean? So the, this back support is for LGA sockets, so Intel. I would appreciate from the manufacturer if they could just like put in the brackets like Intel and AMD, so at least. I need help, I should open 
one stack tip this video. I think that's a good tip from my side. Because he has videos for 99.9% .9 of the things anyway, so... Always a good resource. This was a long video. <laughs> okay, no line. Okay, here's no. Okay, this is Linus, but eight years ago. I don't think that one's relevant. I really don't know. Case span optimization. That one is not. <laughs> Noctua finally has all black cooler. Great, Linus. That's not helpful. Well, technically, you have a Noctua all black cooler. I'm not sure what model yet, but same brand, same color. <laughs> Okay, so this will take some time. She looks really confused now. This is the glue. It's not glue. It's thermal paste. No, this came just with the mother glue. Okay, yeah, really good, really good one, but this one will probably take some time. Okay, why is there tips first person view PC build guide? That works. 40 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's not a quick thing to do, it's like, <laughs> we are here already for an hour, so. Okay, so now she's in her full-blown IKEA mode, sorting all the screws by the sizes. <laughs> and now we're finding some more extra parts in the motherboard box. But leave them for later, because right now you don't need them. Okay, so now we are at memory modules, so here the only thing which is really important to know is like how, where to place them. And usually that kind of info is found in the big book, big manual, and in a quick start guide it just says like, yeah, install <laughs> memory modules. So there are two things to watch out here, first one is the orientation like... Uh, like this or like this, so you can only place it in one way because of the notch in the middle. How do I know it's tied with the right? Okay, he just mentioned Yeah, notch. <laughs> and second thing is where to place them, on which uh, memory socket. Since now you have two, you should watch out where to place them. Yes, if it's <laughs> right orientation position and if you open the notch. Sorry, I'm gonna need just a little bit of a hint. Use a manual, for God's sakes, use a manual, Which? that's what it's for! Which you one? Have, you have a... For, where are you mounting it? <laughs> I'm not man. mounting it on a correct place! I'm not going to say that, just please use the manual, that's what, that's his sole purpose for it. Please okay, use the okay, manual. Okay. Thank you! Okay, sorry for my tone here, I was really scared. Like, this filming has been... Not that manual. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind. Where are you mounting it? To the motherboard. To what? I component? Yes. What is that component? I don't know. Yes, you do. Okay, wait. I have something. Here. <laughs> install memory module. Yes. But how and where? But it just says install memory module. Okay, so you have a big book. When you're not sure exactly what you're doing, there is a big book. I don't know. Okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> I completely understand her frustration oh, here because it is quite hard to, to do this part if you don't know, because it, it is kind of a niche thing, like once you've done it, you're really confident in doing it again, but for the first time doing it, if you're not absolutely sure, it is kind of a scary experience because you're not sure like, are you going to break the mo motherboard or are you doing it correctly or not correctly? I understand why, why she's under so much pressure here. <laughs> Especially me behind camera. Okay, so this is a bit confusing for her because she doesn't know what DDRs are. 
nor which one does she have at the moment. It's the DR4. Second help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you want okay. this computer to work or okay. not? Yes, please, okay. sure. please. Just, I'll tell you what you need to focus please. on. Please. You have four slots, but two memory cards, right? Yeah. Memory module. So you need to focus. Where do you need to put them, and how? So it's not all the same. It is a difference. I see that. That it has to be in the manual. I'm sure. Now I confused her even more with this one. You can see though that I really strongly. Okay, uh, CPU reinstall fine. Cooling. He also thinks cooling system, but Linus says fine, fine. I Trust Linus on this one, just because you'll have more room to maneuver than when you place a huge ass CPU fan. It, it's it's much much harder than, especially since you need to place the M.2 drive, which the socket is located literally below the the CPU cooler in this case. I'm not sure that this ah uh, meant anything. <laughs> She's still scrolling to the manual, so. But there is nothing about how 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 I should place them. There is. Yes, there is. Absolutely sure. One hundred percent. One million percent. Yes, there is. Yep. I really love her smirk face at the moment. I just needed a few. <laughs> <laughs> a few moments to find the right page. I told him this is how he goes. Mm, you can do it. I really have a lot of faith in her in a lot of things, also in this one, but I'm also and scared at the moment. These are all the same. They just look the same, but they're like... They have to be marked somewhere on the board or in the book. Here we go. Yes, finally, we are going somewhere. I have DDR4. Yes, you do. They are all designed for DDR4. <laughs> okay, look how many uh, uh, RAM cards you have. Two. Okay, and what is the recommendation position to place it when you have only two? Oh, one on each. Like on end, I, I'm looking at it, but I'm thinking like one at this end and one on this. Does it say end. anything by it, on the side of it? Yes, it does. Okay. So it shows you here on which slot it goes. Okay. And try to find the corresponding slot on the motherboard. You're making me feel like an idiot. No. I I'm not, uh, or at least I'm not doing that intentionally, because I understand it's really hard. D, okay, D2 and A2, that's what Yes, these are the two sockets you need to find. And this will take some time, because okay. they are really cleverly hidden <laughs> on the PCB of the motherboard. Later when I saw it, I was like, okay, it's, it's a really good find, because I would also have some trouble finding it. Oh, I found it, I found it! Oh my god, I'm an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> and what now? Okay, so so opening the notches and as I said, and it, until you do it first time, it's hard. But when once you 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 did it like this one. I can guarantee that after she places the first one, the second one will be like 10 times easier and faster. Thank you. Why am I plugging it? You just press a bit firmer. Perfect. Okay. You know, let's see the second one. That was a nice click. <laughs> okay. 
Whew. Okay, just a few more parts and we're done. <laughs> Okay, now it comes the, the M.2 memory, so it's a Samsung 1TB uh, drive. It is, without a manual, it is hard to find the location for it because it's quite cleverly hidden. So she spent some time trying to plug it into the every possible socket on the motherboard. <laughs> is there another name for an SSD? Yeah, well, there are multiple types. You have SATAs, you have M.2s. But again, it says on the box, so... Can you please find me the relevant chapter? Yes, I can. Yeah, I'll help you out. It's, this type of an SSD is called M.2. M.2? Yeah, like actual dot. Oh, 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 yeah, found it. Okay, thanks. No problem. Oh, but I know that one. <laughs> it says... Oh, you commented on it and Linus said it, so... Oh, I was, I was thinking two? there's a spot marked M.2. Even that's... Is, I'm not sure, never saw this. Even that is true, it actually is, but it's also really well hidden. Okay, so to find the location of M.2 drive took us some time, but hey, we are there soon. Okay, so now she's opening the M.2 drive. Uh, one thing to mention, uh, what happened here is that he actually she almost broke the M.2 drive because when she tried to tighten it, she did not put the distancing rod below it, so the, the M.2 was a little bit like this. <laughs> so we placed it later on, it still works perfectly, thank god. But uh, I just fast forwarded this bit because uh, you cannot see it behind the, the I.O. port of the motherboard. So just to give you a heads up what happened and other than that she installed it perfectly. As you can see, although there was some frustration, but still installation was really well done. Okay, so, so this, this was actually helped by me because she really has a problem with cables and cabling and she was working on this one for already two and a half hours, I think. And she, she had enough of it, let's say it like that. Uh, so everything in the box is mostly done. Case. Let's be honest, after I installed the power supply and saw the wires, I tried to connect maybe two of them before I lost my nerves. Yeah, I understand. So I'm super proud still, absolutely proud. My darling installed the cables and the graphics card in the end. But the power supply was me when I found the right hole where it goes. I'm still super proud. Okay, so now? Now we have to... Try it out, see if it works. Try out to see if it works. Don't we need to screw everything back? No, it's good, it's good. The only thing which we need to make sure is that all the electronic devices run on the white smoke and if that white smoke leaves the, the casing then the devices don't work anymore. Really bad joke. I don't I'm know. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> okay, I absolutely deserve that one. What it does. Why are we not putting it back together? What is it? Does it work? Uh, I mean, I did it so it has to work. True, true. Good so. point there. Okay, uh, everything is plugged in, and now, for the first time, let's see if it works. Okay, we have lights. Oh, something's happening. I don't know how it's supposed to sound. Oh, well, we have a touch pen screen, so that's good. We have multiple of those, so we'll see what's happening. Screen. So oh. that's also a good thing. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, now the fun, this is the fun part. Windows OS installation. So try to figure this one out by yourself. I think it's quite self-explanatory. Play this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. I, I, I think everybody is just making like too much fame off of it, so... It's no longer like the old days of Windows 95 where you actually need to know something. Uh, the only thing, this is the tricky part, it's always the custom. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Uh, okay, which one is unformatted? So, uh, I know, okay, this one, this one, yeah. This? Yeah. So, I can just do one? Yeah. This is this is the part where you, uh, where he asks you on which uh, hard drive you want to install. And now it's waiting time. That's most of it, so you did 99.9% of the So, it actually works, like? Uh, it's only, yeah, basically, when I try to start working, because when they open, the RAM memory has a quite a nice color to it. So yeah, and so what I can see from here, the, the main CPU finger is blue. <laughs> you can also check out the, the hands of the uh, graphics card. Yeah, also it's a, a, a. You really need to look up for what I mean, but I know who that's. Oh, it's not that bad, I know that <laughs> one. So, so that was it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so my first experience building a PC was interesting. And I would do it again until the part that it comes to the cables. No. No, and no. I mean, if I'm really in a pinch and I need it, of course I would do it, but no. Thank you for watching. Wait, 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 wait. What, and what about the case? The lovely ideas of the, uh, of the manual? Yeah, the case, uh, maybe, you sh maybe you should have spent more on the case. <laughs> but um, for me, the only important thing is that uh, at the end it looks nice but it was a it was a pain in the in the ass to compose okay and you needed how much time for this one do you mean how much time i needed i yeah. needed about three hours about three hours so three hours you never build a pc in your life no? and you still were able to build it uh, okay, you did some help, some, some help for me, yeah, right, to be honest. You did help me a lot on some crucial things, I think. But now just the Windows installation and then it's it. You have a fully working PC. So it feels nice, right? Yeah. But this is your PC. I have my laptop and I'm good with that. <laughs> Fair enough. Bye! Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this. If you would like to have more videos with my girlfriend included, please uh, hit the like button. And if you took long enough to see this video through, please consider subscribing to my channel, it would help me a lot. And thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of the day.